now we're going to talk about dividing a whole number by a decimal. Again, it's the same as a regular division problem with one extra step in the beginning. Well, this one has a little bit different step than the beginning, the other one. Uh, you can see now that the decimal is in our divisor rather than our dividend. This becomes a little bit more difficult, but we still have to move that decimal. So what we do here is we move our decimal to get it to a whole number. So look, we're going to move this one, two times to become the number five. But since we did it here, right now technically that decimal is right here, we need to move that two times as well. So now that becomes 1,200. So however many times you move it over here in the divisor, one, two, you have to move it in the, uh, the dividend as well, one, two. So now our problem instead of 12 divided by 5 hundredths is now five, or 12, or sorry, 1,200 divided by five. So now we can do that problem. Does 5 go into 1? No. Does 5 go into 12? Yes, it goes in 2 times. 2 times 5 is 10. Subtract, drop the 0. 5 goes in to 20. 4 times. So I'm going to put that 4 up top above the first 0. Subtract. And you're going to find that my answer is going to be 240. What that means is if we think about it in money, if we have $12 and we have it all nickels, we would have 240 nickels. So in that aspect, it makes sense. So when you're doing these types of problems, make sure you're first moving that decimal over in the divisor, however many times to get rid of it. So if it's only one time, then you move it one time over here. So however many times you move it here, move it here. You can put a decimal here first if you'd like, just so that you can visualize moving it. But that's really the only difference in a problem like this. So it's one extra step again, the divisor.